Hi everyone, Dan Higgins here from Astroworld and thank you for joining us for our final part of our Eagle 3 tutorial uh, regarding the Eagle Manager interface. So again, please like, please subscribe and uh, go to our Facebook, our Instagram, all that good stuff. Uh, the more people that we get to come online with us, the better for everybody. So thank you so much. Uh, so without further ado, let's dive right in and talk about the Eagle Manager interface. So here we are at the Eagle Manager interface and we've already connected to the Eagle and uh, we're ready to go. So let's take a look and see what we have on the screen. The first thing is uh, the little box on the left that says Echo. Now this is only going to get populated if you have purchased an Echo and have it all set up and ready to go. So once you uh, click on Echo, it will connect and it will populate the temperature, the relative humidity, and all the information that it needs. So the next thing I want you to pay attention to is to the right of the Echo, there are four USB ports. And right now, unless if you change it, it probably just says name on it. Now, if you left click on the word name, a dialog box will pop up and you can change that name to whatever you want. So if you have your pole master, if you have a camera, if you have whatever you want, whatever peripheral you have, you can title it to whatever you want. However, these four USB ports you cannot turn off. They remain on the entire time and power is always applied to them. On the top to the right of that are four more USB ports and these you could also change the name to, but these four you can actually turn on and off as you need to do it. So if you click on it, it'll turn red to turn off or green to turn on and that's it. Underneath that you have a total power consumption readout and always assuming that you put in the correct parameters at the beginning when you launch the Eagle, uh, this will tell you how much time you have left on your battery, it'll tell you the total power consumption and uh, the watt, or, watt hours of your battery. Underneath that you'll have the number 5, 6, and 7 and these are your variable 12 volt outputs uh, that you're able to use for dew heaters. Um, if you don't have an Echo, you could actually right click on this and again in this display that pops up uh, you're going to see the the watts the voltage and the amps uh, amp draw on this so you have little three little, the little speed dials you could change the name there and plus there's a slider there or a, a, a dialog box where you could change the voltage out uh, depending on how much power you want to apply to those dew heaters and there's also the on off switch that you could turn on off uh, from this dialog box as well And finally, on your right side, you have your main power outlets, uh, the top one being your power in, which will give you the voltage of your battery or your source power, and the four, the two eight amp and the two three amp out. And with every other button, it's totally customizable. You could change the name. You could take a look at a history graph on what kind of power it's been drawing. There's also the three speed dials for wattage, voltage, and amps out. So um, that's pretty much it as far as that part of the Eagle Manager is concerned. Let's take a look at the Advanced Settings button. As far as the Advanced Settings tab is concerned, I really haven't found much of a reason to mess around with this at all, uh, with the exception of the SSID for your, uh, your in-home Wi-Fi. Obviously, we went over that in, pay in uh, Chapter 4, I believe, on AP and Host Wi-Fi. Uh, so feel feel free to go take a look at that video if you want to know more about that. Um, as far as you could change the power button function is concerned, uh, and I, I have left that alone. I left it to power off. Um, and you could actually customize uh, your uh, startup and shutdown sequence. Um, I have not done that. I, I like to have manual control of what goes on and what goes off and whatever the case may be. So I have left everything to, to pretty much the, the defaults. Um, but if you want to go and start up and after start up have everything turn on, you could actually go in there and enable um, enable that click button and then it will let you able to toggle it on or off or whatever you want to do as far as you want to customize your own rig. Also on the right side, there are actually two settings for the Echo, uh, a Delta T and something else, but I'm still waiting because there doesn't seem to be any documentation regarding what this is for or what these actually do. 
Um, so once I get some information back from uh, Prima Luce Lab, I'll put it down in the comments below. And that's all we have for final part seven of our Eagle 3 uh, tutorial. So thank you again if you've watched all seven or if you just watched one. Thank you so much for watching and viewing and subscribing and all that good stuff. Uh, just remember to keep on sending the comments. Uh, we love hearing from everybody. Uh, so just make sure that you, you comment and let us know how we're doing. Uh, we like to know if we're boring you or if it's uh, too much blabbering or you know you want some music or whatever you want just let us know we'll throw it up there so again thank you for watching uh, my name is Dan Higgins from Astro World thank you so much and remember keep imaging keep educating keep having fun thank you again for watching